Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a like favorites and hate it's when it comes to my lip products. So I have some of my absolute favorite lip products and then I have some products that I hate and wish that I didn't purchase. I got requested to do a, because I started doing like my top five series, I got requested to do a like top five like nude video and like a top five, top five nudes. <laughs> Um, like a top 5 nude lipstick or like a top 5 like 90's grunge lipstick but I just figured I would show you guys my favorite lipsticks because these are lip the lipsticks that I wear a lot in my videos and then why not throw in some lipsticks that I regret buying because why not so let's start off with the lip products that I do not like so that we can end on a positive note shall we? alright Let's go. See, let's see. The first one that I see here is this is the NYX High Voltage Lipstick. This one is in Whipped Caviar. I just thought these were really, really drying and uncomfortable on my lips. The opacity is pretty nice, and there was a lot of hype about these when they first came out, but I honestly don't think they're worth the hype. They're just uncomfortable and don't last very long. So I regret purchasing. I have two of them because I bought another one after I knew that I kind of didn't like this one. I was like, oh, let's try that one. And I hate it, so, meh. I don't know. The NYX matte lipsticks are a lot better. The next thing I see here is this Silver Bullet. Silver Bullet. From Gerard Cosmetics. This is Underground. This is one of those lip colors that came out recently because this lip color is super, super trendy. It's just like a grayish, it's like Lime Crimes Cashmere and all of that and I just don't like the formulation of this one and there, since there are so many dupes for this color, Colourpop has two of them alone. Tootsie and Trap are really really similar and the formulation is way 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 better. You just have to layer this up a lot and it's just not very comfortable on your lips and it just kind of pulls and tugs and it's kind of expensive and I mean they have all those like little package deals you can get but I just don't like it at all, and it smells really bad. So, yeah. Okay, this next one breaks my heart a little bit, because you know Kat Von D is my fucking girl. She is my girl. But Vampira sucks, as I drop it. Vampira sucks. To be honest, uh, this is the Everlasting Liquid Lip in Vampira, obviously. Um, I just hated this one. Like, it's just super, super streaky. And I've heard that from Kat, like... I've heard a lot of people say that, that some of Kat Von D's liquid lipsticks can be streaky, and this is one of them. It's a really pretty dark red, like deep, vampy red. So it swatches nice, and it kind of has, has like a purpley undertone. But the thing is, is like when you layer it up, it gets darker in spots, but not in other spots. And so you just have this weird like purple, dark red, streaky lip going on. It's just really hard to work with. I do have a liquid Kat Von D liquid lipstick in my favorite, so that is bomb. So we'll get to that. I still love her. Just this one, ugh, I hate. This next one breaks my heart because the color is gorgeous and it smells like marshmallows. This is the Stila Stay All Day liquid lipstick in Rosa. And this freaking color is so pretty. It's just like a super, super pale pink. Oh my god, I die over colors like these. I love crazy pale, like, concealer lips. Lips. It's just a really, really pretty pink shade. But the thing that sucks about this, it's, I mean, you could probably tell. Let's see. Can you tell? It's like super streaky and not, it's like sheer. So it's not opaque enough for one coat, but when you layer it up, it gets really really cracky and streaky and like when you put on the second layer it pulls the first layer off not about it I hated it I've only worn it like twice which makes me sad because the color is so pretty if you mix it with other liquid lipsticks like you know put like a nude liquid lipstick and then pop that one in the center and kind of mush it together it's okay but I was disappointed and then the last one you guys know I love ColourPop but I used to love this one, but since I have found a different black lipstick, this one has just kind of gotten kicked to the curb. This is the um, lippy stick in Bullchic. It's just their black lipstick. 
and I just, I found a better black lipstick, which I'm going to talk about. Um, I just found a better one, and this one kind of sinks into the lines of my lips and gets a little, it like wears off in the middle of my lips, but then also sinks into my lips. It's just not very cute. It's kind of high maintenance. I always have to reapply it, and I've said multiple times, if a lipstick is high maintenance, I will not wear it. So, bullshit clippy pencil. Nah don't like it. So now let's move on to my absolute favorite lip products ever right now. So since we were bashing ColourPop, let's bring it back and give ColourPop some love because this lippy stick is amazing. Absolutely amazing. This is the Skimpy Lippy Pencil and it's just a really, really gorgeous peachy nude and it's a glossy finish. There it is right here. It's just a really, really pretty pale nude. My favorite thing to do is to take a darker nude and then pop this on the center because it gives my lips more fullness because it has that glossy effect and then also since it's a really pale nude, it also like gives my lips more fullness. I just, ugh, this lip color is amazing and five dollars. Holla. I was talking about how I found a new black lip and I actually have it swatched already because I tried to film this earlier but my camera pooped out on me. But this is the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in Weirdo and this is the most goddamn opaque black ever. Like, ever. And this lasts a decent amount of time. I mean, it'll last a good six hours on my lips before it starts kind of crusting up on the inside of my lips and stuff like that, but it still doesn't look bad when it starts doing that. Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks are a little bit more expensive, but for me, since I am so picky with my lipsticks and I don't want to wear high maintenance lip colors, I will pay more. I'm totally cool with paying more to get what I want out of a lipstick. And Jeffree Star Cosmetics is cruelty free and these are also vegan, which is awesome. This one I have talked about a million and five times on my channel, so I'm not going to beat a dead horse. <laughs> That's a terrible expression. I'm not going to drag on about this one. This is the NYX Butter Gloss. I have this one in Creme Brulee. I also love Fortune Cookie. These are just my favorite lip glosses ever. When I'm getting ready in the morning and I know I want to wear a liquid lipstick, I will pop this on my lips and it just moisturizes my lips so much. But you can also wear this like on no makeup days to just pop on and give yourself some color. They have amazing color range and I just, I, I love these. I have talked about this since my very first video, my very first like affordable favorites video. These were in there. Like, it's a ride or die. Love it. And then speaking of Kat Von D, this, this liquid lipstick, this damn liquid lipstick, this is her everlasting liquid lipstick in Nosferatu. And this, I don't like red lips that much. Like I do, but on me, I just like, mm, I don't know. I don't like it. But this one is amazing. I saw my coworker wearing it at, at work and so I went and bought it before I went to work and like here you, can you see how patchy Vampira is this one is not patchy it's a little bit brighter of a red and it's a blue based red so it's really really just gorgeous I can't stand pink based reds and orange based and orange based reds but this is just a beautiful blue based rich red. I cannot even describe how amazing, how amazing and perfect this color is. This is my favorite red lip of life. Oh my god. When I put this on, I put this on the other day and I have freshly dyed black hair and I felt like Snow White. Like this is the perfect red lip ever. I cannot even. I literally was like, I need to film a favorites video because I need to talk about this. Like when I tried it on, I was like, I need to tell, I need to tell people about this. It's so good. So, Nosferatu, if you need a good red, get it. Get it! Okay, and then I have two MAC lipsticks. And these break my heart because if you guys saw one, my, lap, my latest video about how I'm going cruelty free. By the way, thank you guys so much for all of the like nice support and just like encouragement. Like, you guys almost made me cry because I was so nervous about putting up that video and you guys just showed me so much love and I cannot get over it. So like thank you from the bottom of my heart. 
Anyways, these break my heart because they're MAC. MAC is not cruelty free, so I will not be purchasing anymore after these babies are gone. But these are two of my favorite lipsticks ever. This one I have talked about in multiple favorites. This is MAC Viva La Glam 2. Um, but this is just a really, really pretty beige, dusty pink nude. It is my absolute favorite lipstick of all time. I, I just, I can't. I can't with Viva La Glam 2. I love it. It's just such an easy lip color to wear. I don't have to worry about it fading off during the day. And if it does fade off, then it still looks good. And like, I can't. I can't, you guys. I can't. I love this lipstick. And then the next one is Whirl. And I talked about this in my latest favorites video. This is just, it's like Viva La Glam 2, but darker. So here's Viva La Glam. Here's Whirl. It's just a really, really pretty, deeper, mauve nude, but like kind of has that like 90s grungy like feel to it. It's just, oh, I love Whirl so much. Why does MAC have to test on animals? So let's get on to the lip color I am wearing right now. This is NARS Audacious Lipstick in Raquel. Oh my god, you guys, this stuff is fucking expensive. It is expensive, but it feels expensive. It looks expensive, and it is worth the money. So these babies are 32 freaking dollars. $32. The only reason I bought this is because I won a $10 mall gift card at work, and so I was like, hey, I could use that towards this lipstick, and then I only have to pay $22, which is a lot more reasonable, and a lot more, you know, that's like the price of an Urban Decay lipstick and stuff like that. So, that's the only reason I purchased this, because there's no way I will spend $35 after tax on one lipstick. But I'll, I'll spend $22, so... You know, it's reasonable. It is the color I am wearing right now, which is a little bit of ColourPop skimpy in the middle. And my god, you guys, it is just... It feels so creamy. It is so opaque. Side story time. I just filmed a Get Ready With Me before this video, and I was wearing ColourPop's Dr. M, and it stained my lips so bad. I still have stains. I had to, like, overline my lips with the lipstick because I have such bad staining. It is terrible. But this nude covers it, and, like, I think that's a sign of a really good lipstick is when a nude covers a dark green stain. Like, it's just so good. I wore this because I tried it in Sephora, and then went shopping around and I got so many compliments. It is so comfortable on your lips. It's really creamy, but it stays put. And it stays creamy. Like, it doesn't dry out. Like, these these are no joke. And the packaging is so cool. I don't know if you guys can tell. But, like, these are magnetized. And so, like, if you try to screw it on the wrong way, it'll the magnets will, like, repel. And it will twist by itself to lock down. That. It's so good. Okay, and then the last one of my absolute favorite lip products is the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Midi. This is another, oh my god, all of these are like kind of similar, like in the same color family. Um, this is another really, really gorgeous kind of mauve nude. Oh my god, it looks exactly like the other nudes I showed you. Oh well. So, like, that's Viva La Glam, and then right below here is trap or no midi it's just a really really pretty matte pink nude it's great it's so perfect for every day and these are really really comfortable on my lips i did a whole video reviewing them i'll link it down below if you want to see it but but this is just one of my favorite colors ever it's probably my favorite of my color pop liquid liquid lipsticks that i have and i love it I love it so much. And then I just have to throw this in there because if you are somebody like me and likes these colors of nudes, like the kind of like dusty rose, mauve undertoned nudes, you need this lip liner. This is the Jordana Easy Liner for Lips in Rockin' Rose. I'll do a big old swatch of it. So there that is right there. And can you see, like, it goes with that one, it goes with that one, it goes with that one. It can go with this one. It's just a great lip liner for mauve dusty nudes. Like, it's perfect, and it's like $2. Okay, guys, that is all I have for you today. Those are my top 
favorite lipsticks right now and some lipsticks that I just wish I hadn't have purchased. I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Become a part of my weird little YouTube family here. And please comment below. Tell me what you guys want to see next. And I'll see you later. Bye!